Hi, everybody. I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to the show that gives grown-ups a chance to win $1 million if they can prove that they're actually smarter than a fifth grader. So get ready for a whole new fifth grader experience, starting with a brand new classmate. He is a 36-year-old youth pastor who attended Deep Rest Elementary. Please welcome Colton Lee. Colton, you were well, you were looking good then, <laughs> looking good now. Wow, thank yeah, you. you. Man, look at that. Wow. I, I don't know what you pastors make. I bet it's not a million dollars a day. <laughs> not at all. I have a million dollars. I'd love for Ooh. you to take it home yeah. today. I'd love to take it. Yes. Let's start working on that. I have got five really smart fifth graders. Let's meet them now and pick your first classmate. Dean! Lauren! Mason! Angela! And Trey! Pick one of them and let's get started. Woo! Woo! I want to try D. D, come on up here. Woo! All right, let's take a look at your fifth grade profile page and your latest updates. His favorite subjects are language arts and history. He is an art medal winner and shining star reader. But D, here we are in the classroom, got a pastor, and I'm looking at I Heart Britney Spears. <laughs> Why did you post that? Because I am in love with Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about Britney that you like so much? What isn't it, Jeff? What isn't it? <laughs> Do you like her music, her style? What is it? About? Like it all, Jeff. Like it all. Okay. <laughs> all right. He Woo! likes it all. Woo! Let me tell you how this game works. Colton, I'm going to show you 10 subjects. They range from the first grade through the fifth grade. You can answer them in any order you like. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. The 10th question is worth half a million dollars, wow. okay? Woo! You ace this test, which I'm sure you're going to do. I'm going to give you a chance to prove you're smarter than a fifth grader. I have one sixth grade question, which is worth one million dollars, okay? Yeah. You ready? I think I'm ready. All right, everybody, let's find out. Is Tolton Pace smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> All right, Tolton, as I said, you've got 10 subjects. Where would you like to begin? All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to work my way into this. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's a good I idea. I'm going to go with first grade. Okay. And we're going to go with spelling. First grade spelling yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. All right. That's what D would have picked. The first <laughs> question's worth $1,000. Here it is. Right. How do you spell the name of the coin that's worth five cents? Is it A, N-I-K-K-E-L, B, N-I-K-L-E, or C, N-I-C-K-E-L. All right, D has locked in his answer. And remember, Tolton, this one is worth 20,000 nickels. <laughs> what are you thinking, Tolton? All right, fairly certain. We're gonna lock this in, Jeff. Okay. And we're gonna go with the spelling on C. The spelling on I'm C? lock that He's in. He's locking it in. Well, your fifth grade partner agrees with you. Woo. Take a look at the board. The correct answer is C. Nick yeah. Oakley got $1,000. N-I-C-K-E-L is worth $1,000. Let's double right. that, all right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Nine subjects remain. Pick another one. Animal science. Animal science. Let's do it in the first grade. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Seems like a pretty good year for me. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's go with the first grade measurements. First grade measurements it is. This question's worth $2,000. All right. Colton, here's the question. If the clock currently reads 2.43 p.m., how many minutes is it until 3 p.m.? All right. Dee's locked in his answer. What are you thinking, Tolton? Wow. I'm kind of a backwards processor of sorts, so okay. I'm starting at 2.45. Okay. And I'm like, all right, I know that's a quarter till, which gives me 15. Okay. Right? But we're talking two minutes before, so I'm going to add those two minutes to that 15. 
which gives me 17 minutes. I'm gonna go with the 17, 17. minutes, Jeff. You lock, lock it in. in. Lock it in, 17. <laughs> Once again, D agrees with you. Take Woo. a look at the board. The correct answer is, in fact, 17 oh. minutes. There we go. Yes. We're on a roll. Woo. Now, they can only help you two questions at a time, so D, you need to return to your desk. <laughs> Tolton, you need to pick another class. Woo. Good job, D. Let's go, Angela. Angela, come on up here. Woo. How are you, Angela? Good. All right, let's take a look at your fifth grade profile page and your latest updates. She likes math and science, and her hobbies are basketball, cheerleading, and writing. Angela, what's this update? I love Betsy Ross. Where, <laughs> look at that get up. What was that for? Wow. For um, who inspired you for school, I decided to dress up as Betsy Ross because she made our American flag, and I want to do stuff that people will recognize, like what she did. But you just like the fact that she stepped up and did something great for her country. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty much how Dee feels about Britney Spears. <laughs> Colton, you've got $2,000. I bet you'd rather have $5,000. Love to there have $5,000. Eight yes. subjects are up there. Which one would you like next? Can I ask Angela sure. what she enjoys again? Yeah. All right. I do so, like animal science. Like animal, animal science. science. <laughs> I think I was kind of feeling that too. Okay. I think we're gonna go second grade animal science. Second grade animal science. Yeah, it is. It. All right. Correct answer is worth five thousand right. dollars. Here's the question. Which of these prehistoric animals could fly? Triceratops. Pterodactyl or Velociraptor? Which of these prehistoric animals could fly? Triceratops, Pterodactyl, or a Velociraptor? Angela has locked in her answer. What you thinking, Dalton? Man, you know, I started thinking movies and uh, yeah. <laughs> my son talking about, you know, dinosaurs all the time, and he has a show where one of the little kids has how a dinosaur. How old is he? Matter of fact, he's four today, Jeff. Aww. Best thing we can do is win some money and you can go buy something yes. really cool for his birthday. Yeah. What are you thinking, Colton? I, I think Pterodactyl was the one that fly. He had a, had a cousin or a sister bird, but I remember Pterodactyl. Not the horns. Velociraptor was a little vicious, yeah. Pterodactyl, I'm gonna lock it in, Jeff. Lock it in, Pterodactyl. <laughs> the Velociraptors were Scary. Very. Very scary. Very. I had nightmares about that thing. Did not like that. All right, if it's pterodactyl, you've got $5,000. Take a look at the board. The correct answer is pterodactyl. There we go. Off to a good start. Colton's got $5,000. We're going to try to turn it into $10,000 right after this. This pastor is going from a holy roller. Looks like my preacher's praying a little bit. <laughs> to high roller, with the help of our fifth graders. No, 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 no. But will that be enough? I am sweating this one out. Find out next. <laughs> Welcome back. Our contestant, Colton Pace, has got $5,000. We're working on turning that into $10,000. Now, it says when you were growing up, you wanted to be a ventriloquist, <laughs> uh, and you were great at impersonating the PA system? Just, just a little bit. Let me hear the PA system. Let's see, well, uh, excuse me, Miss Jenkins, would you send Jeff Foxworthy to the office, please? There you go again, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't think I haven't heard that one before, too, so. All right, let's take a look at the subjects you have remaining. Angela, what do you like the best? Maybe U.S. Geography or U.S. History. I still think I'm easing in, Jeff. OK, uh, that's all right. Kinda baby steps. Baby steps. Um, so let's go with that second grade geography. Second grade U.S. Geography yeah. it is. <laughs> Correct answer is worth $10,000. Here's the question. How many U.S. states share a border with another state? How many U.S. states share a border with another state? Wow. Angela has locked in her answer. Wow. So we got a lot of states, Jeff. We do. <laughs> so 50 states. I know that there are two that are not connected. So we're talking Hawaii and Alaska. 
So it gets us to at least 48. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to go through the whole 48? <laughs> Seriously, let me tell you about your cheats. You have three of them. You have a peek, which means you can look at your classmate's paper. If you don't like their answer, you can go with something else. You have a copy, which means your classmate at the podium will confer with their other classmates. They'll come back down and write the answer they like best. Or you have a save, meaning you could answer, and if you're wrong and your classmate at the podium is right, they could save you. Let's take a peek. You want to take a peek? I think I want to take a Angela's peek. Paper? Just All right, you case. want to lock that in? Just lock that peek in. Take a peek. Take a look at the board. If you had to guess without her help, what would yeah. you have said? I would say 48, just kind of first reaction. Okay, take a look at the board. Your fifth grade classmate, Angela, said 48. Wow. I think I'm feeling pretty good about Angela. We got this glasses connection going on. <laughs> Push them up, and we're going to lock 48 in. Lock it 48 in. It's 48. You've got $10,000. The correct answer is... 48, oh. there it is. Good job, Angela. Yes. Good job. Ah. Wow. 10,000, congratulations, Tolton. Wow. All of my fifth graders had 48. All right, next question's a big one. Because up until this point, if you had missed it, you would have dropped down to zero. You get this next question right, you walk out of here with $25,000 today. Oh. Angela, you need to return to your desk. Yeah. Tolton, let's pick another classmate and go after that 25. I'm gonna try. Oh, let's try Trace. Trace, yeah. come Trace. on up. What's up, Trace? Yeah. What's up? Uno dos Trace. Trace. <laughs> That's exactly it. Uno dos Trace. <laughs> let's talk about your name. I love your name. How'd you Thank get you. that name? It's just kind of a nickname for me. My real name is Simmons Horton Ellison the third, and they call <laughs> Thank me. Thank goodness we call you Trace. Yeah. <laughs> They call me Trace because I'm the third. Oh, I like because I've heard a trip, but Trace, I like that a lot. Very Thank cool. You. Feeling smart? Yes, sir. I really want him to get to this $25,000 mark. Me too, Jeff. All right, take a look at the board. Here are our subjects. Trace, what do you like the best? U.S. history and math. One's a third grade, one's a fifth grade. Your choice, though, Just to get it out of the way, I mean, I say we do fifth grade. I'm going to try that maybe. Ease it in one more time. Okay. Maybe step and then, you know, we'll we'll maybe mix it up some. All right. So we're gonna try this third grade US history. Third grade yeah. US history. Let's get this one right. Guarantee that 25,000. The third grade US history question is this. In 1979, who became the first woman to be featured on US currency? In 1979, who became the first woman to be featured on U.S. currency? All right. Trace has locked in his answer. What are you thinking, Tolton? I'm thinking about a particular woman who was pretty important to the U.S. that I remember she was on a particular piece. And it was either a 50 cent piece or a dollar piece. I remember that. So in my head, kind of first gut instinct, Susan B. Anthony is kind of first gut reaction. Okay. I'm feeling fairly certain and say Susan B. Anthony, I'm locking it in. Locking it in. <laughs> All right, Tolton, I can tell you this. Your classmate Trace does not have the right answer. So mm. if Susan B. Anthony is incorrect, we're done. Wow. Take a look at the board. <laughs> For a guarantee of $25,000, the correct answer is... Susan oh! Anthony! Yes! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah. There we go! Wow. Woo. Huh. <laughs> now, yeah. the sweating it out on that one was yeah. because if you'd have been wrong, you could have dropped down to zero. Now that can't happen. No reason to drop out right now. Because even if you miss the next question, yeah. you still have 25000 Wow. Halfway through the test, what subject would you like math, next, math, Tolton? Math, math. 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 He's saying math, math, but it's a fifth grade math. question. It's a fifth grade question. Because of who my classmate is, okay. I'm, I'm going to take a, a leap and go with this fifth grade math. Fifth yeah. grade math. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get it out of the way. Got to get it out of the way. So I'm going to get a million. <laughs> Fifth grade mathematics, here's the question. 
What is 14 and 10 fourteenths wow. minus 9 and 3 sevenths? What is 14 and 10 fourteenths minus 9 and 3 sevenths? All right, Trace has locked in his answer. Looks like my preacher's praying a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, Jeff. What you think, it told him? So I'm thinking, you know, my first step, you always kind of look for the common denominator. I need to get those two bottom numbers the same. Okay. Going back to my math days, least common multiple or something along those lines. So like if I kind of did the two division, I get five over seven. So now I'm working with five sevenths and three sevenths. So if I subtract those, then I get two sevenths because the denominator stays the same. And then 14 minus nine is five. That would give me five and two sevenths. Some crazy fractions, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with that. Five and two sevenths. Let's lock it in. Lock it in, five and two sevenths. <laughs> this is kind of an unusual show because we are able to turn five and two sevenths into $50,000 if that's right. Mm, some good math if that's right. <laughs> Take a look at the board. I am sweating this one out. <laughs> the correct answer, Tolton, is actually... No way! Five and two sevenths! Greater, our contestant, Colton Pace, has $50,000. We're well on our way to $100,000 now. All right, it is time to pick a new classmate. Let's go, Lauren. Lauren come on up here. Ah. <laughs> Hello, Lauren. Lauren. Now, I know you have people here rooting for you today, yeah. too, don't you? Who's here for you today? Well, my mom, my dad, and three of my sisters. Tell them how many brothers and sisters. There's nine kids. Nine total. kids. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You do know you're going to not be retiring at 45, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're going to be out there and go, please go to college. Please go to college. <laughs> All right, right now, our job is to help Mr. Tolkien go from 50,000 to 100,000, okay? I want to do it, Jeff. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the subjects you have remaining. Astronomy, world history, social studies, and health. She said astronomy. I'm going to follow Lauren's lead on this one. Okay. And we're going to go with third grade third astronomy. Third grade astronomy, okay. okay. The third grade astronomy question worth $100,000 is this. How many planets in our solar system have a circumference larger than Earth? How many planets in our solar system have a circumference larger than Earth? All right, Lauren has locked in her answer. I have an ant that comes close. Uh, <laughs> what do we know about this? Circumference. I guess I'll start there. I know it's, you know, we're talking about measurement all the way around. Okay. Right? Just kind of picturing these, you know, styrofoam balls we, you know, did for projects mm -hmm. and stuff. On and coat hangers and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do, uh, a little random strategy here. Lauren seems like a pretty smart gal, and okay. uh, she locked it in pretty quickly. Okay. I'm gonna try the copy. Okay. Let's lock that in. All right, lock it in a copy. Come on, Lauren. Let's go talk about this. <laughs> okay, Lauren, you locked that in really fast. Yes. What are you thinking? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Okay. Anybody thinking anything different? Okay. Yeah, I'll put two. I got uh, three. I'm going to say Jupiter, Saturn, and Mercury. I'm probably gonna lean on more the four side. Yeah, okay. Me too. So you ready? Yeah, I think whatever I'm ready. happens, okay. it's our fault too. So <laughs> I 
So you heard all the discussion, but so you write down the answer that you like the best, okay? okay? All right, told them whatever she writes down is the answer you must go with. And she has locked it in. During our class discussion, they threw out a couple of different answers. Oh, gosh. If you had guessed, what would you have said? I probably would have been on four. The correct answer is four. If you had said that, if you had said that, I would have given you $100,000. Oh. But you weren't confident. Oh. You threw it on the fifth graders. <laughs> and let me tell you, in that huddle, I wasn't very confident. <laughs> Take a look at this board. If Lauren said any other number, you flunk out and it's game over. Lauren's answer is... Wow. wow, Lauren, that was impressive. Good job, baby. You, got, you have a wonderful daughter. I want to thank you for letting her be on this show. She does a great job. <laughs> Colton, you've got $100,000. The next question would take your winnings up to $175,000. Now, you can see the question and then decide if you want to walk away with the $100,000. Three subjects right. remain. Which wow. one would you like next? I want to follow a little gut. Okay. I'm going to go with fifth grade health on this one. Fifth grade health? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jumped right over the fourth grade. <laughs> we'll come back to that. This fifth grade health question is worth $175,000. Here it is. Alveoli are located in what organ of the human body? Uh, Alveoli are located in what organ of the human body? All right, Lauren's locked in her answer. And if you think alveoli are located in the pasta aisle of the grocery store, <laughs> you might not be smarter than a fifth grader. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> what do we know about alveoli? Unfortunately, my son has a touch of asthma. And I remember, I think fortunately now, the doctor talking about these alveoli. And so I think I'm fairly confident, Jeff, that they are located in the lungs. I think I'm going to bank on that confidence, Jeff, and I'm going to lock in lungs. Oh. You learned about this because your son had a touch of asthma? Yeah. That's what we're banking on. That's what I'm banking on. Well, maybe the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Take a look. Oh. For $175,000 is the answer lungs. Yes! Yes! Ah, you said yes! Ah. Great job, Woo! Lauren. When we come back, we're going to be playing for $300,000. Welcome back. Our contestant is Colton Pace. He is about to play for $300,000. Colton, you're down to your last classmate, Mason. Come on up here. What's up, Mason? Oh, man, yeah. good to see you. <laughs> wow. Oh. Tolton, you won the $175,000 because of your son. Yeah. Who you said had a touch of asthma. I got a little surprise for you. Uh-oh. Take a look at the board. Hi, Daddy. It's Mommy and... Woman Pace. Aww. We wanted to just say congratulations and, and best of luck. And, and you are good. smarter I'm than a fifth grader. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh, man. Yeah. There we go. Little, little teary yeah. Got, like... got a little burning nose going <laughs> on. The face is leaking, Jeff. Oh, that's leaking. so cool. Well, all right. Woo. We are two questions away 
from the million dollar question. Oh. Two subjects remain. Your choice is between fourth grade world history and fourth grade social studies. I'm good at both of those. Both. We're gonna try to go around the world a little bit. Let's do a little world history, Jeff. World, world history, okay. <laughs> Remember, you can see the question. Okay. Take the money and run if you want to before you answer it. Okay. This question, Tolton, is worth $300,000. Fourth grade world history, here it is. Wow. Huh. The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan built what famous tomb in India for his wife? The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan built what famous tomb in India for his wife? Wow. All right, Mason's locked in his answer. Huh. So I'm thinking of, you know, some great world wonders, and I'm thinking of some awesome architecture in India. This word tomb is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Tomb, tomb, tomb. Uh, Here's where we stand. If you've got a big enough pocket, you can fold up $175,000, <laughs> put it in it, and head out the door. Definitely. That's a good day. It's a good day. Very good day. You could answer the question, and I'll give you three hundred thousand wow. dollars if you're right. <laughs> it's big now, if you're wrong, and he's right, he could save you, and you'd still get the three hundred. What do you want to do? Wow. Man. Do you have an idea? The first thought kind of led me to, to Taj Mahal. It's the kind of first thing that popped in my head. I'm feeling kind of 50% confident? Well, technically speaking, that's the opposite of confident. We got Mason over here, you know, preferably as a, a strong backup. I think this is a good subject for him. <sighs> I think it might be worth the risk. Let's lock in Taj Mahal, Jeff. Okay. Some of my fifth graders have the right answer. Wow. Some of them do not. <laughs> I know Jesus saves, but in this case, it may, be, it may be Mason who saves as well. You said Taj Mahal. If you're right, you have $300,000. If you're wrong, you're not out, because then we go to Mason. Take a look at the board. Actually, the correct answer is... Taj Mahal! <laughs> Colton has got $300,000. We are one question away from the million dollar question. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Gotten a little excited in the classroom Whoa. here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get to the million dollar question, we have one question Ooh. left on this test. Wow. It is fourth grade social studies. All right. You still have your save left. Remember, you can see the question, okay. still drop out of school, take that 300,000 and go home. <laughs> if you get it right, <laughs> I just want to hear you say it. How much money will you have then? Oh. <laughs> $500,000. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Woo. question. We're $500,000, here it is. The eagle on our national seal holds an olive branch in one talon and how many arrows in the other? The eagle on our national seal holds an olive branch in one talon and how many arrows in the other? Mason has locked in his answer. What you thinking, Dalton? I get a little confused at the flag, so I'm thinking, you know, like there were 13 colonies originally, so I'm thinking, okay, you know, 13 arrows, but I'm thinking like they're now like 15 states that came out of those colonies. But I'm thinking like branches of government, and so they're like three branches of government, but that seems too few, like I know they're more than that. It's a tough call, Jeff. Yeah, it is. Hey. Just have a little faith on this one. Okay. 
think I, I, I got classmates here for a reason. I'm gonna go with 50, Jeff. I'm gonna go with 50. And I'm gonna lock that in. Oh. Oh man, you said 50. It's a lot of arrows. You also talked about three. I did. How many branches of the government are there? There are three branches. Three. Yeah. You also talked about the 13. Right. I'll tell you this. <clears throat> the answer is either 50, <laughs> three, or 13. <laughs> Oh. Did you guess the right one? Oh. The correct answer is 13. Oh. How many times did I say you can put that money in your pocket and walk out of it? And it wasn't so bad at 100. It wasn't, not at all. How many times have you ever given away over a quarter of a million dollars in a day? Never. Sister looks like she's about to throw up. <laughs> Here's where we're at. I hate putting all the pressure on kids that are 10 years old. <laughs> but sometimes they come through, and I'm hoping this is one of those times. Oh, please. If Mason said 13, you have half a million dollars. If he said anything else, oh. you have 25,000. Oh, Mason. <laughs> You said you had faith, right? <laughs> yes. How you feeling? Oh, man, I'm, I'm holding on to it. <laughs> Pretty big right now. Huh. Tolton, take a look at this board. <laughs> if he said 13, you have half a million dollars. <laughs> he said... Huh. Pastor, he answered the half a million dollar question incorrectly, and then Mason saved him with the Same. correct answer. And I'm thinking about you as, as a pastor. The only thing I'm thinking is, and a child shall lead them, you know? I love Good it. Good job, so, Mason. Yes. The great news is you have a chance to win $1 million with one more correct answer. The bad news is. These wonderful fifth graders can't help you anymore. He got you this far. You're really smart. No help from your classmates. <laughs> this is how this is going to work, Colton. If you're going to be able to say, I am smarter than a fifth grader, you've got to prove it. So this next question is a sixth grade question. Okay. You can see the subject. Okay. If you like the subject, you decide what to do. If you don't like the subject, you can take the half a million and go home, drop wow. out of school. If you like it, I'm gonna be a nervous wreck, probably be over there <laughs> quivering in the corner. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Huh. I ready. would <laughs> love it if you were our first millionaire of the new yeah. season. Yeah. The subject of the one million dollar question is this. Sixth grade chemistry. 
I only know how good I was at chemistry. <laughs> how do you feel about chemistry? It's a little paradox for me, Jeff. Is it really? Yeah. So like all through school, science was my thing. Like science projects, medals. I had already wanted to be a doctor at the time and wanted to be a pediatrician because I've loved kids and it's like I'm going to med school, right? Good in science, love kids, makes sense, right? And then I get to college and I get into chemistry my first semester. So I'm doing pretty good, Jeff, and I get four classes, get my report card, got an A in Spanish, A in calculus, and a C plus in chemistry. <sighs> like I, I know a good amount of this stuff. Is it enough? <laughs> so here we are. Yeah. Do you want to try for the million? Do you want to take the 500,000 and drop out of school? I think today is a day of crazy faith, Jeff. So huh, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> Lock it in. <laughs> All right. Total. Wow. The one million dollar question is going to be revealed right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. Our contestant is Colton Pace. He is about to play for one million dollars. Let me ask you this. We, we saw your wife and your son. It's his birthday today. How long have you been married? Uh, a little over five years. A little over five <coughs> years. I've been married almost 30 years. <laughs> I can just see me calling home going, so my wife going, how was your day today? That was good. <laughs> I gave back $475,000. Great. But oh I could say, oh, yeah, I had a pretty good day. I won a million dollars today. <laughs> Take your time. The sixth grade chemistry question worth one million dollars is this. Nobel Prize winning scientist Marie Curie coined the word radioactivity after studying what element's ability to emit rays? What are you thinking, Tolton? Yeah. Thinking, uh, you know, I remember studying Marie Curie. You know, a little bit about radioactivity. It's kind of down to two things in my head. What two things? The first thing I thought about was like, you know, radioactive dating of things trying to figure out the age of something or like shelf life and stuff. And I'm thinking of like carbon dating. And for some reason, this word radium just popping in my head. All right, Jeff, shot in the dark. Okay. But we're gonna go for, oh man. We'll try radium, locking it in. Radium. So, Tolton, yeah. your answer again was? <laughs> radium. Radium. Marie Curie did work with radium. If that is the answer, you have a million dollars. If it's not, you still have 25,000. Hmm. For one million dollars, the correct answer is? Uranium. Ah. Uranic rage. You were so close. Oh my God. So close. You still have 25,000. Put it away from your boys' college. Yes. Yeah. Paid for that today on his birthday. Thank you, man. One last piece of business. Uh, There's a camera right uh, there. Uh, my name is Tolton Pace, and I may work 
with a lot of students and mentor them, but I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. show that gives grown-ups a chance to win $1 million if they can prove that they're actually smarter than a fifth grader. So get ready for a whole new fifth grader experience, starting with a brand new classmate. He's a 35-year-old surgical technologist who attended Alessandro Elementary Woo! School. Please welcome Raul Torres. Raul, welcome to the show. Love it. Look at look at the hair. Was that a cow lick? Or I forgot it was picture day at school. I, I'm sure it was. I forgot it was yeah, picture day at school. I always forgot it was picture day at school. And then I would wear like the t-shirt with a hole in it and the mustard stain. And my mother's like, I'm not paying for these. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to our classroom. These are your brand new fifth grade classmates. Let's meet them now so you can pick your first helper. Reagan. Pick Trace. Trace, come on up. All right, let's take a look at your fifth grade profile page and your latest updates. He likes social studies and math. He's student body president at his school. What is your dog Sadie is psycho? Very. Wait, now what do you mean by psycho Sadie there? Well, I have a story for you there, Jeff. Okay. So <laughs> I was, my grandfather, he went up to go to the bathroom, and my dog, she charged at him. We still don't know to this day why the heck she did that. <laughs> and the funny thing is, when he went to the bathroom, she would like slam her paw on the door, she'd go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Maybe she just had to go. Yeah, that's why we named her Psycho Sadie. Yeah, Psycho Sadie, I like that. All right. Raul, could you use a million bucks? Yeah, I could definitely use a million yeah, bucks. Yeah, that's usually the answer yeah. to that question. Let me tell you how we go about that in this classroom. I'm going to show you 10 subjects. They range from first grade to fifth grade. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. The 10th question is worth $500,000. You ace this test. I'm going to give you a chance to prove you are actually smarter than a fifth grader. I'll give you one sixth grade question. You answer it correctly. You walk out of here with a million bucks tonight. It's that easy. Sounds like a plan. I like it. All right, let's find out. Is Raul Torres smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah. Where do we begin, Raul? Uh, what do you think? He likes the first grade question. Hey, I like first grade questions too. Why don't we go with first grade animal science? First grade animal science it is. Let's do this. For $1,000, Raul, here's the first grade question. True or false, insects are invertebrates. True or false, insects are invertebrates. Trace has locked in his answer. Now, you're a, a surgical technologist. What do we know about invertebrates? Invertebrates are beings that have no backbone structure, uh, no skeletal system, I hope. Uh, let me explain your cheat. You have a peek, which means you can peek at your classmates' paper. If you like their answer, you can go with it. If not, you can do something else. A copy means your classmates will all huddle together. They'll come up with an answer, and then the one up here will lock it in. Or you have a save, meaning if you answer incorrectly once during the game, but your classmate at the podium has the right answer, they can save you. But true or false, I mean, 50-50 shot. Uh, I really don't want to go home on the first question. I really don't want you to go home on the first question. So I, I, um... You're going to have to show a little backbone here and make an answer, though. <laughs> OK, we're going to go with my gut, then, because my gut is telling me true. So we're going to go with true, and I'm going to lock that in. Lock it in true. <laughs> uh, 
Let me see if I can help you feel better. Reagan, what did you say? I said true. D, what'd you say? True. Lauren, what'd you say? True. Angela, what'd you say? I said true. Oh. You feeling better? Yeah, much better. For $1,000, let's see the correct answer. It is... Oh! Yeah! Trust your gut. Oh, okay. Oh. Trust your gut. Enough of that. By the way, Trace had true as well. The fifth graders were all correct Ooh. on that. All right, you got 1000 Let's right. turn it into 2000 The hard part's over. We got the first one out of the way. <laughs> if you think the hard part's over, you've never seen this show before. Take a look at the board. Let's choose your next subject. Music, music, music. First grade music. First Read grade music it is for $2,000. Here's the first grade music question. Which of the following is an instrument in the woodwind family? A, violin, B, saxophone, or C, trumpet? Which of the following is an instrument in the woodwind family? A, violin, B, saxophone, or C, trumpet? All right, Trace has locked in his answer. What do we know about the woodwind family? That they're made out of wood. So by process of elimination, it's gotta be violin. I don't, I don't see another answer there. I'm gonna have to go with violin. I'm locking it in. Locking it in. I showed you how smart my fifth graders are. Reagan, did you say violin? No. Dee, did you say violin? Yeah. Yes. Lauren? No. No. Angela? No. No. Three out of the four of them said no. Woodwind family is not instruments made out of wood. It is instruments that have a wood reed in the oh. mouthpiece. The right answer is saxophone. Your answer is incorrect, but there is still hope. If your classmate has the right answer, you're still in the game. If Trace said saxophone, you have $2,000. If he said anything else, you're going home with lint in your pocket. Wow. First grade music. Oh, bro, take a look at this board. Trace's answer is B oh, saxophone. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Woo! Woo! All right, Trace, you need to return to the classroom. Nice job. Thank God for smart fifth grade. Yeah. All right, you need to pick another classmate All now. Right. Uh, let's go with Dee. Dee, come on up here, Dee. All right, let's take a look at your fifth grade profile page and your latest updates. His favorite subjects are language arts and history. What's this update? So you think I can dance. What is that all about? Um, uh, I was dancing, like, for just for fun, and then they just started taping me. I was like, okay. <laughs> Breaking it down at home? All right, it's a video. I want to see this. Hey, guys, I'm here to show you some of my cool dance moves. Watch the wind move, watch the wind move, run and bang, run and bang. Spin the dazzle, the dazzle, and jazz hands. I'm watching that. I'm thinking I need to pledge money to find a cure for whatever's wrong with you. That's a... Hey, Raul, if you get the $5,000 question right, I want to see those dance moves. How's that sound, Raul? Maybe if he can show me, I could try. I think that can be arranged. Eight subjects remain. Which one would you like next, Raul? I'm good at grammar. Uh, I'm good at grammar and art. You're good at grammar and grammar art. art. Yeah. Let's try second grade art. Second grade art it is. For $5,000, here's the second grade question. If Rembrandt were to paint a portrait using only primary and secondary colors, how many different colors would he be able to use? If Rembrandt were to paint a portrait using only primary and secondary colors, how many different colors would he be able to use? All right, he's locked in his answer. 
Bro, what do we know about primary and secondary colors? Okay, so the primary colors are blue, red, and green. No, blue, red, and yellow. The secondary colors are the colors that are mixed in with the primary ones. So blue and red make purple, red and yellow make orange, and yellow and blue make green. I'm gonna say six, and I'm gonna lock it in. Six it is. You said there were three primary colors. Yeah. Red, yellow, and blue. That's correct. The secondary colors, though, you said there were three. Are you sure about that? No. Raul, take a look at the board. Actually, the correct number is six. Oh, you got five thousand dollars. Okay, Raul, you got five thousand dollars. Let's see your dance moves. Okay. I'm doing this. First, first All right. <laughs> We're going to try to turn that into $10,000 when we come back. Welcome back to the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Raul Torres, has got $5,000. We're trying to turn that into $10,000. Now look under the board. There's you and Dean dancing before the break. Bro, quite honestly, I don't think you need to win any more money. I think you guys, you just take this on the road, you got a million bucks. Now, I'm looking at your card. You have a motto that I absolutely love. Tell everybody what your motto is. Uh, my motto is I will do anything twice just in case I did it wrong the first time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just say, would that ever apply to say like Education. Actually, I took the fifth grade twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he knows twice as much <laughs> as you guys do. All right, look at the board. Seven subjects remain. What you think, Raul? Well, the first grade and second grade questions have just been brutal. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to go to something that's comfortable to me. Okay. Let's go with fourth grade mathematics. Fourth grade mathematics, okay. You're good at math. I, it's it's one that I know I'm I'm solid on at least at least I think I think I'm solid on it. Okay. So let's let's do math. <laughs> Suddenly you're Dr. Seuss. I think I think I'm solid on it. All right. Here's your fourth grade math question. The sum of all angles on any triangle adds up to how many degrees? The sum of all angles on any triangle adds up to how many degrees? All right. D's locked in his answer. What do we remember about triangles? That they all add up to 180 degrees. That would be 90 degree angle. It would be that way. And the angle going up would be 45, 45, which adds up to 90. So 90 and 90 is 180. And I'm gonna lock that in. Lock it in 180. By a show of hands, how many of my fifth graders agree with Mr. Torres and wrote 180? Yeah! If they're right, it's worth $10,000. Take a look at the board. The correct answer is... Yes, 180! Way to go, Dean. Very nice job. All right, well, Dean, you got to return to the classroom. Nice work, buddy. They can only answer two questions at a time, so you need to pick another classmate. Woo! I'm gonna go with Reagan. Reagan, come on up here. Woo! Let's do it, girl. Woo! Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's take a look at your fifth grade profile page and your latest updates. She is a high honor student. But Reagan, what is going on with the backpack? <laughs> look at that, you've got a lean. That thing is huge, how much does it weigh? More than me. Well, you look like one of those Olympic ski jumpers, you know, where you just... <laughs> we need to help Mr. Torres win some more money. He's got 10,000. Next question yes, is very important. You get this next one right. 
No matter what happens the rest of the game, you're leaving here with $25,000. That's, That's okay. a good day. That's a good day. All right, let's get this next one right. You have six subjects remaining. Which one would you like for the $25,000 question? Let's go with second grade grammar. Second grade grammar, okay. Like I said, get it right. You leave here with 25 grand. That's a good day's that work. That is a good day's work. All right, here's the question. In relation to the word envious, what is the word jealous? A, antonym, B, synonym, C, homonym. In relation to the word envious, what is the word jealous? A, antonym, B, synonym, C, homonym. All right, Reagan's locked in her answer. What you thinking? So, envious and jealous basically mean the same thing. If you uh, go to a thesaurus, they would be right next to each other, envious and jealous. See, I oh. thought a thesaurus was a dinosaur, so I'm lost already, so. Uh... So, um, my gut's telling me they're synonymous with each other. So, I really don't want to take a guess on synonym, even though I think I'm right. Gosh. Well, you have two cheats left. Peak means you can look at her answer, see if you like it. Not, you could say something different. Or copy means you must take the answer that her and her classmates discuss, and then she writes down. OK. So I'm pretty sure it's not antonym. So I think it's either synonym or homonym. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my peak, and I'm going to lock that in. You want to peek at Reagan's paper. Raul, take a look at the board. Let's see what your fifth grade classmate Reagan said. Reagan said B, synonym. So Raul, how would you like to answer this now? Well, I don't have my save anymore, so I'd probably go with homonym and have her save me. But since that's out of the question, I am going to go with my classmate. So I'm gonna go with B, synonym, and I'm gonna lock it in. Lock it in, synonym. All right, Raul, here's where we stand. If it is B synonym, you've got $25,000. You leave here with no less than $25,000. If it's antonym or homonym, you go home with nothing. Take a look at the board. The answer is... Yes, synonym! Yes! 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 How about that? Good job, Ray. You got $25,000, and we're going to try to turn that into $50,000. When we come back. <laughs> Welcome back to the all new Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Raul Torres, has got $25,000, and we're going to try to turn that into $50,000. Now, I'm looking at your card. You your football player in high school? Yeah, I was a football player in high school. It's Very spirited. I was voted most spirited. Voted most spirited. And homecoming king. And homecoming king. That's awesome. So, that, was a, that was a long time ago, many, many moons ago. And it says here that you knew the cheerleaders' routines, and you would join them doing them during the game. Yeah, that was part of the most spirited part. Uh, yeah. <laughs> usually, when uh, when I'd be on defense and the offense would be out there, you know. Go over and cheer with the cheerleaders. Cheer with the cheerleaders. Do you remember any of them? Oh, the let me cheers? See, let me see. See something, yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I can't remember much of them. I sure. mean, one of them was the beat. I mean, oh. everybody knows the beat, okay, right? Okay, let's it's, see it. It's who got the beat? Jeff's got the beat. It goes. <laughs> Boom! Right? What? Dude, that's awesome. Here's the great thing about this next question. There's no reason to drop out of school with 25,000 because if you miss it, you still have 25,000. Right. It's like the freebie question, okay? Yeah. So let's take a look at the subjects you have remaining. I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna go fifth grade life sciences. Fifth grade life sciences. <laughs> question is worth $50,000. Here it is. What typically green chemical found in plants uses photosynthesis to turn sunlight into energy? What typically green chemical found in plants uses photosynthesis to turn sunlight into energy? 
All right, your classmate Reagan has locked in her answer. Talk it out, what you thinking, Ro? The first thing that came into my mind was chloroform. Now, if that's right, then uh, that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, if it's yeah. right, it's good. If it's right, right, it's good. <laughs> Well, let me remind you, and you still have a cheat remaining. You yeah. have a copy left. Yeah, I got a copy left, and to be honest, I kind of want to save that because I think I'm right. I'm going to say chloroform and lock it in. Lo, you're a medical technologist. Yeah. This is going to be embarrassing if you're wrong. So you didn't want to use your copy. No, sir. I'd like to show you what your classmate answered, okay? Okay. Your fifth grade classmate, Reagan, said she thought the answer was chlorophyll. I'll tell you this, it's either chloroform or chlorophyll. If it's chloroform, you have $50,000 and you'll be playing for 100,000. If it's chlorophyll, you leave us with 25,000, which is still a good day. Still a good day. Take a look at the board. The correct answer is... Chlorophyll. But here's the good news, Raul. You are leaving us with $25,000. That's a good day's work, and you are a fun contestant on the show. Thank you for being here. Great job, Reagan. These kids are smart. One last piece of business before we go. There's a little camera over there, and I think there's something you'd like to tell the world. My name is Raul Torres, and I may be a certified surgical technologist, but I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the all new Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? You ready to meet your next classmate? Yeah! She is a 43-year-old church marketing director who attended Jeffers Hill Elementary School. Please welcome Robin Washington. Robin, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, everybody. Nice to have you on the show. I'm so happy to be here, Jeff. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, wow. Whoa. What, what is going on with the bow tie? <laughs> I was fresh to death in that picture. You were fresh, <laughs> yeah. But the bow tie looks like it belongs on like a ventriloquist doll or something. That's, uh... Well, you know, back in the day, that was the style. What kind of student were you back then? You know what? I think I was a pretty good student. I'm very conscientious, always wanted to get good grades. <laughs> Back when you were in the fifth grade, they didn't give you money for right answers, did you? No, they did no. not. But I did get money if I got A's and B's from a parent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Did mom and dad ever give you a million dollars? Oh, no. I want to do that today. I'm with you, Jeff. I want I'm to do you. that I'm today. With you. And I've got some really oh smart God. fifth graders we're going to let you cheat off of. Okay. I want you to pick your first helper. <laughs> she's cute and she she's is. smart. How she are is. you, Angela? I'm good. How are you, Jeff? I'm doing well. All right, let's take a look at your fifth grade profile page and your latest updates. She loves singing, dancing, chess, and skating. Look at the sledding thing. What's that all about? Well, I have a little advice. When you're going to sled for the first time, you should know how to stop. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. Your folks put you on a sled and nobody told you how to stop? Well, I was excited because I really wanted a sled. It was on my bucket list, so... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so take a look at the video. <laughs> Be careful riding with Angela. She doesn't know how to stop. All right, world, let's find out. Is Robin Washington smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> Ten subjects. What do you like, Angela? Well, I think we should warm up and do earth science. Earth science? Earth science. She suggests, but your choice, right? Earth science. First grade earth science. First grade earth yeah. science it is. I'm with you. For $1,000, Robin, here's your first question. Got it. 
Glaciers are primarily composed of the frozen form of what liquid? All right, Angela has locked in her answer. I can tell you this. Okay. It is not Kool-Aid. <laughs> what are you thinking, Robin? I am thinking ice and I'm thinking water. That's what I'm thinking. So, Jeff, I am going to go with water. I'm gonna lock that in, I'm going with that. All right. It's interesting, Angela said water too, and Ooh. they say great minds think alike. The correct answer is, in fact, water. <laughs> No, never gave never. you a thousand. <laughs> I'll give you two thousand for the next okay, right, right answer. Right, you keep, ready for the next question? Going. All right, let's here we go. Grammar, 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 grammar. Damn it. Angela. Damn it. Damn it. I'm gonna roll with Angela, and Angela said second grade grammar. Second grade so grammar, I'm, I'm it is. Okay. All right. The correct answer is worth two thousand dollars. Here's the grammar let's question. Go. How many nouns are in the following sentence? The dog chewed up the smartphone again. <laughs> All right, Angela's locked in her answer. What you thinking, Robin? I do know that a noun is a person, place, or thing. So I'm gonna say that that sentence has two nouns. I'm gonna say, I, I'm gonna say two, two nouns. I'm gonna lock, lock that in, in Jeff. And I'm gonna say two nouns. And the word again implies that it has happened before. So Correct. I don't know how many nouns, but I'm thinking that dog might want to hide when dad gets home. <laughs> Dad's shelling out a lot of money for smartphones. You think it's two? Yes. The correct answer is two. <laughs> Robin plays great school giveaway. She'll try to win $10,000 for herself. Going for it. And one lucky Pennsylvania school. That's what I like to hear. More Are You Smarter right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yeah. Our contestant, Robin Washington's got $2,000 and we are gonna try to turn that into $5,000. Angela's returned to the classroom. It's time for you to pick a new classmate. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with Trace. Trace, Trace. come on up here. Trace. Yeah. All right. Hey. Let's go. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, and you, Jeff? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. All right, let's take a look at your fifth grade profile page and your latest updates. Trace loves playing piano, reading, playing baseball, and wakeboarding. What is I approved this message? Well, I posted this because I was recently elected student council president. Oh, that's very right. cool. All right. Is this a clip of your speech? Yes. Okay, let's is. take a look at this. Yeah. In case you don't know me, hi, my name is Trace, and I'm running for your student council president. I think the present position would suit me well because I'm creative, I'm open to new ideas, and I care about our great school and our great teachers. Don't they have great teachers, people? All right, so I need to tell you something, Jeff. I didn't win because I didn't promise any ideas that I couldn't do or... No, like, ice cream every day um, in the lunchroom. <laughs> I won because at the end, I did the Napoleon Dynamite dance. Oh, did you? All right. I know we've got a game going on. I gotta see the Napoleon <laughs> I Dynamite. I gotta see this too. Woo! <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and, and you know the thing that I love is in that speech, kissing up to the teachers like that, you know? 
Because not only are you class president, you're getting A's the rest of the year. So uh, that's beautiful. All right. Well, Robin, you got 2,000. You can drop out of school right now with 2,000, but that board's got a lot more money on it. Keep you want to keep going? Keep going. I'm going. Let's keep go. Going. Let's take a look at our subjects and try to turn All that right. 2,000 into 5,000. What would you like next? Okay. Um, what would you think, Trey? U.S. history and U.S. geography. Okay. So he says either a fifth grade or a first, a first grade. grade. Question. Okay. I think I'm going to start with the U.S. geography first okay. grade and then we'll move on up. We'll move on. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Jeffersons, like right? The Jefferson. We're going to the east exactly. side. Exactly. <laughs> All right. All this right. question is worth $5,000, Robin. Here it is. True or false? New York City is closer to the Pacific Ocean than the Atlantic Ocean. Grace has locked in his answer. Love true or false questions, because you got a 50-50 shot, right? Yes. Have you been to New York City? I have, and it's not closer to. I'm going to say that that particular question is false. That's a false, false question. And I'm going to lock that in, Jeff. That, Locking that's it false. in, false. <laughs> and we have, let's review our oceans. We have the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, Billy Ocean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you said false. Now, did you think about, at the top of the globe, where those oceans intersect there. You know, I didn't think about that, Jeff. Good, because it has nothing I to do with it. The right answer is false. Robin, your next question is going to be worth $10,000, but that's not all. Because tonight, we are celebrating the staff and students of elementary schools across the country. We have set up our grade school giveaway. So you will not only be playing for $10,000 for yourself, if you get the answer right, we will give an additional $10,000 to tonight's school. How about oh, that? that is fantastic. Let me tell everybody a little bit about this school. It is Hamilton Heights Elementary. They perform more than 6,000 random acts of kindness. From picking up trash to helping strangers, they had 100% student participation in this. So let's please welcome the principal and some of his students from Hamilton Heights Elementary in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. All right, all right. Hey, guys. Hello, Principal Andrew, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Uh, we're doing great. Now, what would $10,000 mean to Hamilton Heights Elementary? Uh, we would love that money to use it for classroom libraries. Books in the students' hands. Yes. Books yes. in the yes. students' That's hands. What I like to hear. Yes. And here's the beautiful thing about this. You do 6,000 random acts of kindness expecting nothing in return and now you've got a shot at getting $10,000 yes. for the school. Exactly. Thank you. That's great. We need more schools like yours. All right, Robin. Yes. You get this one right. You've got $10,000, and Hamilton Heights Elementary I gets $10,000. Yes. So let's pick this up. Come on, Robin. You can do it. Come on, Robin. What subjects would you like? Well, The $10,000 question is going to be revealed right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Robin Washington, is about to play for $10,000, and she's also playing for Hamilton Heights Elementary, who will also get $10,000 if Robin gets this right. Important question, pay attention. Here is our second grade social studies question. What U.S. state's postal abbreviation is M-I? What U.S. state's postal abbreviation is M-I? All right, Trace has locked in his answer. What are you thinking? I'm pretty comfortable with the U.S. states. 
And I, I as opposed to <laughs> the non-U.S. state, the non-U.S. state, <laughs> the state of confusion, <laughs> the state of right. I'm going to say, am I? My heart is beating, but I'm going to say, am I? Is the state of Michigan, and I'm I'm going to lock that in. Lock it in, Michigan. What other states are you thinking it could have been? How's Missouri spelled? Yeah. <laughs> How's Mississippi spelled? You know, I learned it old school. And nah. I cricolette, 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 I, I, cricolette, cricolette, I, hump back, hump back, I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well. I mean, there's a lot of possible, a lot of states begin with MI. That's right. I will tell you this, Robin, the answer is either Mississippi or Michigan. For $10,000 for you and Hamilton Heights Elementary, the correct answer is Michigan! Yeah! for you. Principal Andrew, congratulations, oh, everybody. That is so cool. Oh. I need a minute, I, I need a minute. Oh. By the way, Trace had written Michigan, so he could have saved you oh, had you oh. missed that. That's so my good class, job, Trace. Right That's All right, buddy, you need to return Thank to your you, seats. You, good job. You, Time to pick another classmate, okay. Robin. Okay. Come on up here. Reagan this time. Reagan, oh, I miss you. We both, we both. <laughs> I miss you, Reagan. <laughs> Reagan, where are you from? I'm from Mississippi. You're, she's from MS. Mississippi. MS. M there you MS. go. MS. Yeah, MS. That's right. Not M I, M S. Okay. Had you ever heard the way Mississippi spelled the way we just spelled well, it? Well, I can do it forwards and backwards. All right. Oh, wow. Spell it backwards. I B P I S S I S S I M. Whoa. That's impressive. All right. This next question is a big one. You've got $10,000. Okay. You get this next one right, no matter what happens, the rest of the game, you can leave with no less than $25,000. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look at the board. Let's do it. Let's play. Which subject would you like next, Robin? Measurements. Measurements? I'm going to go with you on measurement. Third grade measurements. Third grade, third grade measurements. Grade. OK. The third grade measurements question worth $25,000 is this. Lauren gets paid $4 per hour to babysit her little brother. If she babysits from 9 AM to 2 PM, how much money will she make? Lauren gets paid $4 per hour to babysit her little brother. If she babysits from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., how much money will she make? All right, Reagan's locked in her answer. What are you thinking, Robin? I'm thinking Lauren needs to ask for a raise. $4 <laughs> ain't enough money. <laughs> the babysit no child, let no. alone her little brother. No. All right. Nine to two, that's five hours. And it's four dollars an hour. So five times four is twenty. So Lauren is gonna make twenty dollars. All right, yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock that in. I'm gonna lock that in. Lauren, you know what doesn't seem fair to me? You have to babysit your brother for five hours to make $20. But if she's correct, she makes $25,000 for one answer. What? That's really just not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> but as my dad used to say, fair is where you go to eat cotton candy. <laughs> I love it. Yep. You think it's 20? The correct answer is, in fact, 20! <laughs> Five 
five hours, five times four Woo! is $20. Great job. No pressure on this next no question. Pressure. No pressure. Because even if you miss the next question, you still got $25,000. Let's turn that twenty-five into fifty thousand right now. Okay. What subject, Robin? Okay. What you What you think, Raven? Uh, spelling or uh, ancient history, math? Well, I, you know, my strategy seems to be strategy. working, and so I, I'm going to stick with the third grade. Okay. And I'm going to do third grade ancient history. Third grade ancient history, yeah. it is. Third grade ancient history. The $50,000 question is going to be revealed next time on the all-new Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader?